We've heard from Elon for years about how full self-driving is coming, we've got the hardware necessary, basically the only things between now and full self-driving futures are regulatory approval and a few software patches to make things work properly. And I'm personally very torn on when full self-driving is actually going to be a thing. I definitely feel like level 4 is a few years away, but level 5 could easily be another 5 to 10 years because on one side of the spectrum, you know, I will watch autonomy day sometimes and hear them talk about what machine learning is good at and artificial intelligence and how they can use the cameras to solve the vision problem and know exactly how to drive the car and I watched this YouTube video Tesla uploaded way back when and if you just listen purely to Tesla and what they say you will feel like full self-driving is basically done you feel like it's just around the corner it's about to drop but then at the same time you know I can watch dirty Tesla's videos or I can watch Tesla drivers videos and be like hmm so all we have to do is solve the the vision problem but in today's world the car still has a hard time stopping when there's an obstacle in the street it can still bump into someone in front of the car it doesn't know exactly how to stop we see auto park demos fail horribly we see smart summon having a hard time finding their way through a parking lot despite when we're looking at the path the car is supposed to take it looks incredibly simple but yet the car can't figure the dang thing out and of course I've seen countless stories of people who are driving with autopilot and all of a sudden it stops and it demands you take over the car because visibility is limited because the sun is hitting the camera sensor in a certain way so this is where my split opinions on the topic come into effect see Elon recently talked at an artificial intelligence worldwide conference remotely of course and he talked about how he believes that level 5 autonomy can be achieved by the end of this year and that it's coming very very soon and after that it'll just be a matter of regulatory approval and essentially whatever the government allows them to send out to everybody else they will but basically feature complete level 5 autonomy is done internally just with a few tail end issues which I also thought was kind of backwards because the whole premise the whole ideology of level 5 autonomy is that you do not need a person not just a person is there for legal reasons level 5 literally means the car can be physically built without pedals without a steering wheel and it does not need any intervention so if you say you're gonna have level 5 autonomy with a few oddball cases that's not level five then you know at that point it's just level four which means that yes it can drive itself but a person still has to be there sometimes but really just for legal reasons for those very very rare odd cases in which case the human has to get involved now Elon has alluded to on Twitter that there's some type of fundamental redesign coming to autopilot as well that's supposed to be rolling out in the next couple months that essentially takes all the differences of interpreting visuals acting on those visuals and understanding what's going on around the car and kind of merging all of those processes into one singular process. He's also said that the full self-driving computer was built with more overhead than they thought they needed, so the true capabilities of that FSD chip that's in so many Teslas today are actually not being properly utilized yet, so essentially it's a lot stronger than it is today. But my god, I hope they can take advantage of it and roll out that autopilot over the next few months, because what I hear them talk about internally just feels like a completely different world from what I see from from real world use cases. Now let me be clear, I still think Tesla is closer to level five autonomy than anyone else on the market. They have the data, they understand AI, they understand machine learning better than anybody else, and no one is ever going to be able to match the number of autonomous miles driven that Tesla has that they can use that data for and train their neural net to make autonomy even better. Completely agree, no one has thought this system through better than Tesla has, but I guess the reason sometimes I think it might come across as very scummy to people or it's very very often criticized of Tesla as being vaporware because they keep saying that full self-driving is just around the corner. Just wait till the end of 2017, wait till the end of 2018, wait till the end of 2019. Now here we are, 2020, it's let's wait to the end of this year. You know, originally there were tweets in 2017 that said that they were going to do a coast-to-coast -coast demo with full self-driving without any intervention the car would drive from the west to the east coast, and of course that never happened. And back at Autonomy Day, he was saying that they hope to have feature complete done by the end of of last year and now in 2020 saying the end of this year so it's gonna sort of turn into the boy who cried wolf situation in my opinion it's gonna as time goes on people are gonna have a hard time believing him when he says that especially when there's so many indications on the record of Elon saying yep it's just around the corner it's really really soon every time you claim that it loses a little bit more of its effect and you know there is something to be said about pushing deadlines and ambitions on software engineers and saying hey if we set a deadline for ourselves 
you know, for the end of this year, that'll make the software team and the hardware team work really, really hard to make sure it's done by that point. And even if they are late, they would probably be a lot further ahead of schedule than another company that just says, yeah, I don't think it's possible, so we're not even gonna try. There are many timelines Elon has not reached in the past, but I think it's those aggressive and overly optimistic timelines that has allowed Tesla to move so fast in the future. So I'm all for, you know, setting aggressive timelines that you try to beat, and if you don't, it's not the end of the world. The important thing is you've made rapid progress. I think the only reason I have a hold up with the full self-driving thing constantly being announced as just around the corner is that there's this giant price tag attached to it that's increasingly getting more expensive, and I think that's why people feel very icky and kind of skeptical about the whole thing, because it just feels like hearing year after year after year that it's about to come out and then it doesn't just feels like Tesla wants you to buy FSD right now so that they can recognize that revenue and then, you know, take years and years to figure out what they actually need to do. But overall, I think it might be possible to market full self-driving a little bit differently in the future instead of acting like robo-taxis, they're coming next year, you know, they're about to come out. Honestly, seeing how many individual use cases there have been where autopilot and full self-driving glitch out for people and don't work and they have to take over and there's debris that can get on the car and snow that can cover up sensors and sometimes autopilot just won't work when the rain is too heavy and I see things like that and I just think really are you actually prepared to start manufacturing vehicles that don't have a steering wheel or pedals and won't ever need to use that within just a year or two I have a hard time believing it and I admire the ambition you know I still think that the first company to get level 5 autonomy absolutely will be Tesla but I have a hard time believing that it's this close and at the end of the day I am still the type of person that would like to buy full self-driving if I had a Tesla because I just want the latest update you know I just want what the best possible autonomy software is right now give me that and you know as we get closer to level four I'll get happier and happier because I still think autopilot has grown and gotten a lot better than it was just a few years ago but acting like this level five stuff is just around the corner to me just seems disingenuous but what do you guys think feel free to hit me up over on Twitter join my discord and let me know what you think about full self-driving and when it's coming out there thank you all for watching hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care